Chairman of the Presidential Commission of Inquiry, Stanley John, retired Justice of Appeal of Trinidad and Tobago, has promised to ensure that the report of the COI is fair. The COI was set up by President Air Finale to look into the events of the March 2020 general and regional elections. Fingers have been pointed by both the PPP and the APNU AFC about irregularities that were uncovered during the recount. Both in terms of an accurate recording of the events we will, we will be investigating and in terms of any criticism we may make of persons involved in those events. We stress that in an inquiry of this nature, there is no claimant and defendant. There is no prosecutor or accused, no pleadings, charges or indictments. This is an inquiry to find out what in fact occurred and why it occurred and who, if anyone, is responsible and what can be done to prevent a recurrence. In the interest of transparency, I have directed that these proceedings be open to the public and live streamed so that, so that it may be viewed by whoever may wish to do so. Chairman posited that this is a serious and heavy responsibility cast upon the shoulders of the Commission. He noted that the COI has no case to prove and it is only interested in the truth. And my fellow Commissioners intend to discharge carefully with professionalism, efficiency, thoroughness, fairness, objectivity and impartiality. We are aware that much has been said about these events by many people from diverse places and organizations. But it must be borne in mind that this inquiry has no case to prove. It is interested in the truth and in fair conclusions based on the evidence properly analyzed. In making our findings, we will have regard only to such matters as are substantiated by credible evidence with unstinting regard for the rules of natural justice, fundamental fairness, especially as it relates to public inquiries and the rule of law. He said it is his aim and that of fellow commissioners to complete these hearings by the end of January next year and submit its report by the end of March. Public hearings commence tomorrow.